well, all the wheels cannot be accepted, especially when it is quite fresh, new, with a new idea. Well, this is what happened with the first film of Prashant Mail, the director of KJF1, KJF2, and Salah. This first film, Okram, was an absolute jump in filmmaking. Well, it wasn't easy for him to make it a hit. Well, it was not a hit at the box office. He lost a lot of money since he was the producer of the film. Let's talk. What was the behind the scenes of this film? And what really went wrong with it? First of all, the lead character, Shrimri, was not in the market, even though he was a superstar for 10-15 years, but he was not acting for 15 years almost, at least for a decade. He, was, he didn't do a film for 10 years and market is completely out for him. And second thing is, Prashant didn't work under anyone. He doesn't have any previous background of filmmaking. And he doesn't have any existing films to come up with. Post-production and marketing of this film was horrible. Even the, the product was to book a great film, but they miserably failed during the time of marketing of this film. There is also a reason because there is also a lot of fight with the different films as well as Prashant Neil met with an accident during the just 15-20 days before the release of this film. And distributors were very hesitant to take this film because the film had a different and fresh editing pattern and too much of violence in it and the music was fresh until then no Kana audience was used to these kind of music and I think probably he met a lot of wrong people in making in the, in the film filmmaking as well as in releasing the film and association with this film and the female lead wasn't so popular as well so so the film is only the product which can sell. The, the background or the, the base platform of this film was zero. Because Prashant was fresh, Murli is coming back after 10 years. Uh, Hari Priya, the lead actress, wasn't popular enough. Uh, Hari Prasur, nobody knew uh, the music director of the film. Everything was fresh. Only the product saved Prashant Neil. Well, he didn't save, he actually doomed him, he downed him into the losses, but this is what gave a very talented director for Kannada industry. And thankfully he made KGF1, KGF2 and Salar and we are all like really really looking for Salar 2 as well as KGF3 and lots of association with Junior NTR, Ram Charan and many more. But I must tell you his dedication, clarity and conviction towards his own craft and skill is fabulous and fantastic. We all love those hype up scene, two hype up scene in KJF1 and two in KJF2, right? He's an absolute gem in writing. And if you if you know his background, Shimuli is brother in law of Tashanel, the actor of Ugram as brother in law of Tashanel, actually. That's how he started in making film without any pre experience. Even though he just visited the sets of few, not few, one single filmmaking production house or one uh, filmmaking time like only for three days, just ate his production food, just went back. 
and technically Oblong wasn't supposed to be his first film well he had a very nice love story for uh, Murli but the way Murli in real life is it did not suit him so he realized one fine day when in real life Ugam's actor Shreem Murli was sitting in his office upset with some of his own personal problems he found out that Shreem Murli has that aura of a gangster a very dim light in office anger on his face that rage in his eyes made Prashant Murli to think to start writing Ugram that is where Ugram started then later he struggled for three years which was not easy but he never gave up it did his job and he finally released the film doesn't matter whether it worked or not at the box office, or box office but the two movie lovers recognized his skills and his craft and there are lots of people who thought that Yash did not do a favor for Prashanil but Prashanil did a favor to Yash by making KGF there are very different rumors on this film but it is an absolute mutual collaboration from Yash and Prashanil without these two nothing would have happened in the Ghana industry well I firmly believe that Prashant Neel has his own conviction, confidence, a clarity and a lot of hunger to make it bigger, bigger in his own life. Promoting for more updates on all the South Indian movies, kindly subscribe. Thank you and I will bring you many more sessions on this. Thank <laughs> you.